Greetings and Assalamu Alaikum. I am Sharifa, a first year medical student, and I make videos on my med school journey as a Muslima in Sri Lanka. Today's video is a two days study vlog for anyone who might need some study motivation. This particular day, I got myself some fresh homemade avocado juice made by my mom and got started with planning out my day. Bismillah, in the name of God. So this particular week was actually a break and we didn't have any online lectures to attend. Naturally, I got a good sleep in and started my day later in the afternoon. I normally like to start my day with some planning and recently I've really been enjoying using my iPad because I find it a lot more flexible and quick and I can also use a bunch of colors which is really fun. I first will check my calendar to see what I had planned out for that week and month and make any necessary changes if I need to. Next, I get on with planning out my day in my weekly planner. So if you are not aware, we Muslims pray five times a day at specific set times. So I will typically structure my day around my prayer times to make sure that I am prioritizing them throughout my day. The monthly calendar and weekly planning templates that I'm using here are my own free planner printables which you can access in the description box below if you are interested. So I'm done planning for the day, it's time to actually get to work. So this particular day I was just making some notes for a topic in my gastrointestinal module for physiology class and the whole topic was about vomiting and the reflex for vomiting which I found pretty interesting I should say. <laughs> around lunchtime I take a break for some family time and remind myself to get out and breathe some fresh air while reflecting on the beauty of the world around me subhanallah glory be to Allah alone I had my next study session in the evening after making some much needed tea we currently have a high demand for milk powder in Sri Lanka so this particular day my family decided to use the special tea and powder concoction available well, it doesn't beat the milk powder rich tea, but it satisfied my energy demands, so I wasn't complaining. Alhamdulillah. With my tea ready, I got straight back to my physiology notes. I normally use a split screen feature on my laptop with my lecture slides on one side and my notes on the other. This makes the process a whole lot quicker and efficient. While I do think that making notes in med school can be time consuming, I've recently been finding it to be very very helpful in helping me organize my thoughts and helping me organize the information in a sequential manner and to make it easy for me to come back to and revise as well. I do type my notes instead of handwrite them though because I find it to be a lot more quicker than physically writing out my notes but that's just my preference. Dun, 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 dun. 
I will normally do some textbook reading at night, which I didn't end up filming, but yeah, that was it for day one. Per usual, I started my work in the afternoon. Oops, well, I'm just making up for lost sleep. <laughs> well, my day starts off pretty much the same every day with me planning. But I do have to say that I thoroughly enjoy planning because it really helps me focus on what's important and it helps me keep account of what I do with my time. This particular day I was craving some hot chocolate since the weather was all rainy and gloomy and I made myself one. I wasn't really feeling like making notes for physiology this day so I got round to reading my textbook before making my notes for my next chapter. I normally do try my best to read the textbook before I make my notes because it really helps me understand the topic and get a grasp on certain information that might come up in multiple choice questions. Once I was done reading the chapter, I took my usual lunch and nature break before I got to my next study session of the day in the evening. I decided to switch up to biochemistry this time because I was getting kind of bored of physiology and thought it would be a good boost for my motivation as well. As for biochemistry, for this particular chapter I had already made my notes and gone through my lecture slides earlier but I didn't bother touching my textbook at the time. So this time I was just reading my textbook for some revision and adding in any important or new points into the notes. I do try to use this time to recall the topic and to identify any weak areas for better revision in the future.
Well, you've guessed it. Of course, I had to take a tea break. This day, my mom decided to use our precious stock of milk powder and I got to relish my favorite rich milk tea made by my mom. With my tea ready, I continued with my study session with a renewed boost of energy and motivation. I wasn't distracted enough, I decided to take a reading break too and in that span of few minutes our power decided to go off. With the power gone, I switched from my desk to the floor to finish up my final bits for that chapter before I called it a day. Alhamdulillah, all thanks is to Allah alone without whom nothing would be possible. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you found some motivation through this video. Do let me know if you would like to see more study vlogs and consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of content. May God allow us to work hard and stay humble always. See you in my next video, inshallah, God willing.